The Goldbergs actor Brian Callan has been accused of rape and sexual misconduct, claims he vociferously denies. After four women came forward to the Los Angeles Times with allegations from between 1999 and 2017, he said in a statement to the paper, Let me be very clear, I have never raped, forced myself upon any woman nor offered to trade stage time for sex, ever. I know the truth. And I can only hold my head up high, remain true to myself, my family, my audience and know that I will not allow the cancel culture to subvert what I know and as importantly, what they know, is the truth. Catherine Fiore Tigerman, who had been pals with Callan for years, alleges that in 1999 the stand-up comic raped her at his home after a dinner to celebrate her booking a pilot. Tigerman, claims that she felt powerless and didn't think she could escape from under the weight of his body. So, she checked out. Callan, 53, vehemently denies the accusation, claiming that they had both agreed to have sex. Tigerman immediately told her boyfriend and best friend about the alleged rape, and both corroborated Tigerman's retelling of the encounter to the LA Times. Tigerman once again encountered Callan during an audition for a TV show for the role of his wife, which he claims proves he didn't assault her. That is not what rape victims do, he said, while Tigerman says if she didn't audition, he wins. Callan is also accused of assaulting an American apparel employee in Pittsburgh in 2009. Rachel Green claims the Mad TV performer pushed her against the wall of a fitting room and began kissing my neck as he asks me if I'm going to get in trouble. She said she immediately pushed him off and ran to tell other staff members what happened. Two of her co-workers confirmed Green had told them about what allegedly happened at the time. Callan also denied this claim. Another woman, comedian Tiffany King, said she reached out to Callan in 2017 for financial help during a bitter divorce and custody dispute with her ex and alleges that after eating a meal with Callan and his buddies in Pennsylvania, she gave him and another comedian, Stevie Blue Eyes, aka Steve Pearson, a ride home. She claims after Pearson was dropped off, Callan allegedly asked for fellatio in exchange for stage time and money. King said she rebuffed Callan and drove home in tears. Callan denies the claim and Pearson says he and Callan got out of the car at the same time. Claire Ganchert says she was a young, aspiring actress when she began a four-year affair with the actor, who has been married to Amanda Humphrey since 2008. She said she felt devalued and demoralized during their interactions and claimed he once told her women have a biological, primal desire to be raped. Callan is a longtime pal of comic Chris D'Elia, who recently came under fire for allegedly pursuing relationships with underage girls. The two regularly appeared together on Joe Rogan's podcast and had even signed a deal to make a prank show for Netflix which was quietly dropped after the Delia accusation surfaced. On a recent episode of his podcast, The Fighter and The Kid, Callan defended his friend Delia as a ladies' man and someone he'd never seen or heard doing anything illegal. Nevertheless, Callan has removed any trace of Delia from Instagram account.